So. And this is actually more a question or more than one question. So some question marks. Yesterday, Boris was here. And yeah, so he has a, let's call it an ideological background or a, a certain perspective on how the world is ruled um, that I'm not personally skeptical about, but um, yeah, that ends up then in a direction that I think it's maybe not um, as useful as it seems to. So he says, and this is now not about how they are talking about a, a TV series, the rich, super rich, 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 Asians in New York. And this is not about Asians. I, I think it, it just in a certain parts of the world, um, the the gap between the people is higher and the extremes are more uh, clear than in others. But I think we have these, um, just go to Paris, to the centers, to London. We have these, um, this vision of the world, more and more people get uh, more and more money. And um, yeah, so, and then I said to Vivian, but that's not precisely what happens in the Achtung, art world um, that we see in cultural life too, that only a few, 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 in this case now artists, get all, 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 all these possibilities. So, and it's not about the name, yeah? I think we want to go back. Let's take Picasso, but we can also take Marka Mishaimovic or what's her name? Laura, Laura Provost or this uh, other one, Mackenzie. Why is it that instead of distributing possibilities, distributing means, material and financial, not to as much more people and giving more people the possibilities because these kind of few people selected by, let's not go there right now, uh, selected by, mm -mm, um, they often have then to industrialize their production. That's why An Anselm Reile ended up in a mental middle age crisis even it was just 35 because he couldn't run his business anymore or he was overwhelmed by running a middle-sized industrial endeavor where 20 people made the work that one person couldn't do and he had to overview it so he wasn't even doing it anymore so yeah so i think there is something why are we picturing certain economical social extremes in the art world instead of actually finding alternatives alternatives to distribute alternatives of atten attention it's, yeah community all these things are in the world but uh, they're not really um, are they just overseen then in this kind of competition if, if you just stare at the museums maybe you don't see the kind of like uh, all these kind of small galleries, artist run spaces. So I think they're out there. So I think that needs to be also kept in mind because it's an easy target to just kind of like go to a Palais de Tokyo, a uh, Palais de Fakio and um, find the solutions there. Or you go to, what is it? Uh, Fondation Lafayette, Fondation Renault, Fondation Citroën, Fondation de uh, Rocher. Yeah, these places uh, are ex show exceptionally pre-emptied programs because they just um, probably copy uh, the industry they had. They have financed their kind of um, equity. I think is the economic term. So, by not running directly into the end of the world with. Um, um, ideological accusation that you I think can do and you're probably there might be very good reasons uh, to uh, enforce that I still would say let's at least understand again the parallel parallelity of these 
universas, these artworks, uh, where we actually have a chance to at least um, create alternatives to these kind of mega maniac uh, propositions. And because as soon as I'm selected for that, you, you're then in that business and you can like it or not, or you enjoy it. That's a different story. But I think it's worthwhile being aware there are alternatives, there are out there, and we need to look at them. We need to understand them and we need to also promote them with our own practice, with our own thinking, uh, critical. Yeah, so that was, I guess, just um, another radio practice questionnaire. Try to find answers, or I'm just going through to um, um, to instigate you thinking by yourself. <laughs>